Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome back to another story time with Gordon. This week's story is all about best friends. In this case, it is about a brother and a sister who are best friends who work all week long and cannot wait to spend time with each other on Shabbat. Let's hear about it. Bim and Bomb, a Shabbat tale, written by Daniel J. Shorts and illustrated by Melissa Iwai. Bim and her brother Bomb lived on opposite sides of town. All week long, they were busy working, and they didn't get to see each other. But on Shabbat, they could spend all day together, so each week they could hardly wait until it was Shabbat again. Bim was a carpenter, and she built the most wonderful houses in the whole town. During the week, she was busy building a new house for the mayor, or the grocer, or the rabbi. All day long, she would work and work. But, Friday was, a, was different. Every Friday, Bim stopped working on the house she was building. Instead, she spent Friday building nice, comfortable homes for people who couldn't afford to pay her. By the time Shabbat arrived, she felt she had done a mitzvah, a good deed. Bim loved building, but Bom couldn't even build a birdhouse, kind of like me. Every time he tried to build something, he would hit his thumb with a hammer. But Bomb loved to bake, and he was the best baker in the whole town. Everyone loved his bread and rolls and muffins. He was busy all week baking bread for the teacher and the artist and the gardener. All day long, he would knead dough for bread. But Friday was different. Every Friday, he baked only challah and lots and lots of challah. He made the most beautiful challah that anyone had ever seen. It was light and sweet with fancy braids and golden raisins. On Friday, when Bomb's challah was baking, the whole town smelled wonderful. Bomb knew that not everyone had enough money to buy challah for Shabbat, so he always made an extra loaf. He always made extra loaves and gave them to people who could not afford to pay him. By the time Shabbat came, he felt he had done a mitzvah, a good deed. All Friday long, while Bim was building mitzvah houses, she would look out the window to watch for the sun to set. All Friday long, while Bomb was baking mitzvah hala, he would listen to the clock in the bakery tick away, one hour, then another, then another. When it was almost time to light the candles, Bim would put away her tools, wash her hands, brush her hair, and start running to Bomb's end of town. Bomb would take off his apron and baker's hat comb the flower out of his hair, and put a sign on the bakery window, closed for Shabbat, he would start running to Bim's end of town. They would run and run until just the same moment they would come to the square in the exact center of town. Bim would shout, Bomb! Bomb would shout, Bim! And they would run to each other and hug and say, Shabbat Shalom. Then they would go off to Bim's nice, comfortable house and celebrate Shabbat with Bomb's delicious challah. The end.